The topic for our session today is indicators of global mindedness. And it really comes from the uh, work that's being done across the United States in many different disciplines about that need for our students to leave the K-12, K-16, K-20 environment with a global mindset. Reaching global competence is a statement that ACTFL has developed to help us as educators think about what is that in our language classrooms that we need to be uh, thinking about as we work with our students. It's not all just about the language. So in a nutshell, that uh, global competence is defined as the ability to communicate with respect and cultural understanding in more than one language. And it's an essential element of global competence. As I so with that introduction, let's get a little deeper into the question that you were just looking at. How do we make this happen in our class, right? How do we really move this whole agenda forward? This is a graphic organizer to pull together our standards as a vehicle for getting at this intercultural community of competence, this larger global competence. You'll notice as you look at this global mindset that in my classroom I'm going to be attentive to our standards. Those five C's with which we are familiar, recently refreshed. In the refreshing, as you look at them carefully, and we're going to look mode by mode, you're going to constantly hear the words, use the language to, use the language to, whether it is something that is in a particular mode, or talking about culture, or talking about comparisons, or exploring connections, or being in the community, using the language to. So there is both that imperative to use the language, but put it in a rich and engaging context.